Wing Chun is a striking system. It closes with the enemy and destroys them with an intense offense. It is unrelenting in its attack and follows up until the opponent is finished. The grappler is also an intense fighter. He closes, suppresses his opponent's weapons, and whether standing or on the ground, finishing with locks and holds. Like Wing Chun, once the grappler has engaged in combat, he does not stop until his opponent is finished. Grapplers take advantage of the retracted motion of a jabbing kick or punch. They use this motion to enter. They know that when you're pulling that fist or foot back, for a moment, you're unable to strike and they take you down. Whether with the hand or with the foot, the grappler will close when you jab and finish. We call this uncommitted offense. The first and most fundamental error that people make when fighting the grappler is usually the same error people make when they fight Wing Chun. That is that they make an uncommitted offensive move. Uncommitted offensive moves are exploited by the grappler and they are exploited by the Wing Chun person. For example, what an uncommitted offensive move is, is, and I've seen this done, and I'm not sure you have too in the full contact matches, I've seen it done uh, in local matches. Someone's trained in the science of boxing. And what they do is they jab, because the jab, and even they jab with their feet, the jab is meant to feel out the responses of an opponent. Uh, it's not, it's supposed to be like the opening of a round, how you, how you find out what his specialties are and all this. If you're fighting a grappler, you know what his specialty is, okay? So what happens is, as they jab, the grappler says, oh good, an arm. So then he uses it to move right.